Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of classifying shapes and solids. This is standard 3.6a in the great state of Texas and we're using item number 20 off the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause this video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So what we have here is, it seems like a very simple problem. We're trying to find two sections that are quadrilaterals. But let's pretend we don't know what that word means. Now we will discuss what that word means toward the end of this video. But if we can, I want to see if we can solve this problem without even ever defining that word. So let's start with what we do know. We do know that triangles have three sides. That's something that we learn all the way in pre-K or in kindergarten. So what I want to do is I want to kind of shade in these triangles right here. So we've got section one, we've got section three. Obviously these triangles um, are different sizes and they're even different types of triangles. You see section three over there's a right triangle. Section one and seven are equilateral triangles. It's a right triangle because it's got this little right angle right here. But let's just mark those off the board. So we're not going to worry about sections 1, 3, and 7. So three sides. And we'll say sections 1, section 3, and then section 7. So we've got section 5 right here. So section 5. We can probably name this. It's almost a square, but it's a rectangle. So it's a rectangle, it's got four sides, and it's got its section five. Now section two is kind of a weird looking, let's see, let's count this, one, two, three, four, five, six. You might not remember, um, but six sides, I always think of the X in hexagon. This x so six sides is hexagon, and now it's not regular hexagon because it is a little bit bigger on top. It is section two, so we can mark this one out. And then we've got section four. Let's see, it's got one, two, three, four, five sides. So this one's a little bit tricky, but if you can't remember it, it's a pentagon. Pentagon means five. So pent means five. There's a military building in Washington called the Pentagon. It's called the Pentagon because it is literally just a huge five-sided building. So that is section four. Now we're just down to section six. And let's just say, I don't know what this is. Section six has got one, two, three, four sides. Um, but I'm just going to put question mark, question mark, because it's not quite a parallelogram. You know what? It might be a trapezoid. Let me just see that. Trapezoid's got two parallel sides. That's a parallel side, and that's a parallel side. It depends on if those two are parallel. They might be. They might not be. I have to get a ruler out to double check. Parallel means they never touch. And I don't know if they're slanting towards each other or not. But either way, it is four sides and it is section six. Now, you might be thinking, how does that help? We haven't figured out what quadrilaterals are. But remember, it says there are two sections. It can't be this. We know this is triangles, but that's got three of the same. And look, Pentagon's got five sides but it's only got one section so that can't be it hexagon has got six sides but it's only got one section that can't be it rectangle and trapezoid both have uh, four sides and they're one section each so guess what this means this is what a quadrilateral means a quadrilateral is just a big name for a four sided shape so that is going to be sections five and six j